Hey, I'm Brent, you're watching Steam Culture, continuing on our series of making paper. Today we're talking about black liquor, which this time of year might sound like a scary Halloween drink. It's actually a byproduct and a very essential byproduct, and you're gonna learn about it today on Steam Culture. Stay tuned. All right, picking up from last week, we separated cellulose fiber and lignin, and it created a residue called black liquor. Now black liquor can be burned in a boiler, so we're gonna talk about how that happens and where the steam comes into play. Now, the black liquor is only about 18% solid, so it's basically boiled using steam heat to reduce it to make it about 68% solid. And then it goes to a recovery boiler. Now the recovery boiler burns it, creates steam for lots of different uses, uh, steam to power the paper making process in the mill, turns a couple of steam turbines to create electricity for the mill, and if they have excess electricity, they sell it to the national power grid. So there's three great steam uses right there. Now when you're done burning this black liquor, it creates a residue called green liquor. They add lime to the green liquor and it turns back into white liquor. So if you just did the math, we just created a full loop there. White liquor, green liquor, pardon me, black liquor, green liquor, and then white liquor. There's so much going on, I can't keep it straight. What I can keep straight is, is that is a fully renewable resource, which is a very cool thing. Great for our environment, great for energy usage. So I'm glad you joined me this week. Join me next week. We're gonna chase down the paper trail. If you're following me, we're gonna take the wood pulp. We're gonna see how steam is used to make paper, the finished product. So send me your ideas at steamculture at wearing.com. Follow us on social media because we're everywhere. And I'll see you next week when we're making paper later.